Welcome back here to our play on sports.com player of the game. And, uh, and uh, Mr. Chase here, five touchdowns. Uh, you know, definitely lost track after, as a matter of fact, I think your 30th or 40th touchdown. Yeah. But, uh, you know, again, five touchdowns. You know, last week you got about 365 yards, and obviously you're one of the tonks of the towns here in, in the Inland Empire. And, uh, you know, we t did talk about before the interview your, your pregame techniques. And, uh, you know, it is no secret that, uh, you know, you prepare, you know, week by week. But, you know, what gets you motivated for, for games like these to really just put up such high numbers? Uh, it's really just myself. I mean, I motivate myself, you know, with God and everything. And I'm not just saying that he's doing everything for me, but that's really it. I just know that I have to do good because last year, you know, it was kind of different. I didn't really just kind of go through the motions, but this year I'm like, I got to step up, you know. And not just you, obviously, because of those five touchdowns. Uh, you know, week by week, you love to use a mix of all your receivers. And we saw in this game today, you you, you really didn't favor one player. You really mixed it around from left to right. And, uh, you know, really with your receiving core, uh, you know, it's really kind of woken up your passing game. Well, uh, what I try to do is is I try to target on one wide receiver, you know, for the first half. And they'll, you know, cover him. And then it leaves the other wide receivers wide open. So I'm kind of out. You know, coaching their coaches. Mm -hmm. Now, take us back to that one play. It was a 28-26 ball game going bare, just oh, into no. halftime. And uh, all of us in the booth were thinking, you know what, your Chase, Chase uh, is going down. That'll be halftime and could be a chance for uh, for Tockwitz to come back. But all of a sudden, you found that you found Khalil wide open into the corner of the end zone. What was going in th through your mind between, you know, escaping the tackles and then finding that receiver uh, wide open in the corner? Well, uh, Coach called 97, and he said, if it's not there, you know, get out of bounds, you know, give us another play. But I was like, no, I'm, I'm making this happen. And so I saw Khalil, and I told him to do a, st a stutter, which, you know, to get the cornerback off. Well, that didn't work because the cornerback was playing too deep. And so I rolled out, and then I looked to my right, and I saw the guy. So I j stepped back, and then I saw Khalil, and I, and I just told Khalil before the game, if I roll out and you're rolling uh, right, throw a juke and – uh, go left, and he threw a juke, and I hit him right in the corner of the end zone on the run, so it was pretty sweet. And it's funny, too, because in that, I mean, you guys would have gone to halftime uh, only up by two points, and who knows what could, ha could have happened in that second half, or in that second half, and I guess we can both agree that that was definitely the momentum shifter going into that second half there. Well, I'm not, I'm not really, uh, wasn't going to be satisfied if we just took a knee, so I was like, we got to score a touchdown because it's going to be a dagger. It's going to hurt them, and it did, mm -hmm. so. Now, obviously going 3-0, and and, uh, you know, you actually are, you guys are one of the more unique programs here in, in, uh, in the Southern section. Only your fourth year, and already all of a sudden you guys have built to be one of the top schools, uh, top football schools in the Southern section. And, uh, you know, talking to a lot of the parents and a lot of the coaches pregame, and, uh, you know, you actually started out, you and a lot of the fresh, or when you guys played as freshmen, uh, you guys are the first, uh, uh, first seniors ever to play uh, – Four uh, for our first four year seniors yeah. actually play on this team. How does it feel to be, you know, trying to re resurrect this program from the bottom all the way up? Well, I don't, you know, really don't feel anything. I'm just playing, but, you know, I'm, it's just like a normal program to me. I mean, that's really all I can say about that. Now, one last thing. Obviously, you go 3-0, and and uh, obviously you guys are, you have your sights set on, uh, on obviously, not only a, a league title, but also a CAF title. So from here on out, what do you guys do to this, to this point? Uh, obviously, the bar is going to be ri risen week by week. What do you guys do to get pre uh, prepared for the next week? Well, coaches are always in the film room for about six hours on Saturday, you know, getting us all ready. And, you know, I'm constantly watching film every night. I get my homework done during school, after class, and so I can just watch film t all night. And my parents have to tell me to get off to eat dinner. I'm like, no, just let me watch a couple more plays, you know, because I got to get it because it's going to pay off Friday night. But I also tell the team every day when we're in the locker room after practice, I say, is that the best you guys practice? And they, you know, so it's just they're all, you know, looking up to me, and I'm not going to let them down. And I tell them if you if you see before uh, every time before we get on the field, we'll huddle up, and I'll just tell them, you know, have this be the best game you ever played because especially for the seniors, you know, that won't play football after this. And, they all listen to me. They all respect me. And during school, you know, it's all good. So. And I, I don't know about best game I've ever played. I don't know how you can exceed a five-touchdown yeah. game, you know, already putting 60 points up in about 36-plus yeah. minutes. So definitely raising the bar there. Once again, uh, Chase Chambers, our, our, our playonsports.com player of the game, five touchdown passes and a 60-47 to 47 victory in this one over Tonkwitz. Once again, my partner, Tim Barker, Mandy Nunes is here making the call. We're signing off here. We will see you next week in La Sierra in Riverside, California. This is Play on Sports. You're home for Friday Night Football. Good night, and we'll see you back next Friday.